time. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. All right, let's play. All right, uh, let's game, let the game boot up real quick. Turn on game capture, properties, capture any full screen application, perfect. Yeah? Come on, Streamlabs, you can do it. There it is. There we go. Knuckles real quick. Back into this. Very excited. Get a look at that old timey crust. Let's get a look at it. Ooh, nice assault rifle rounds. Huh. Man, quite a difference. Really big difference. Lighting's a lot better, obviously. Wow. That's a really impressive glow up, honestly.
Sorry, I'm not saying much. Not much to say right now. Just enjoying the game. Yeah, sometimes there's just not a whole lot to say. Just play the game. Quantity? What do you mean quantity? Oh, a very known quantity. I thought you said a very known for quantity. I read that wrong. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of mystery when it comes to Halo, and that's fine. I know what to expect, and I enjoy what I expect. It is a uh, delightfully... Um, average shooter experience and I mean that in the best way possible not like it's very plain Jane because it kind of you know made the genre and it has a very unique style because it ended up you know novelizing like fucking crazy um, you know becoming a very prolific lore as well as I'm just getting my monitors straightened out you know it became a very prolific lore as well as a very prolific game so it's very clearly got style and uniqueness to it but the gameplay itself is you know pretty expectable but that's not bad that's not a bad thing some's telling me i should pick one of these up just maybe Aim, 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 aim. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Sarge, Mendoza, and Sandy. Oh, God. The things took them. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Quick, gone. Get it? Gone. They won't get me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to be like this. Please. Please, no. God, can you imagine, like, how free, you know, like, again, put yourself in the shoes of, like, a teenager in two, year 2000, 2001, playing this, like this. I mean, that's, I mean, even for its time, that's a really immersive experience, just having that happen. Like, that's just an experience to have. Oh, you don't even... Yeah, you're right. You don't even have to imagine. You were there. You were at ground zero. How was that experience? Oh yeah, we've had this discussion before. You really liked Bungie's shit.
by the way, just out of curiosity, how's the stream going? You getting um, you getting a solid um, 720p 60 FPS out of this? Excellent. Very happy about that. It's perfect. It's exactly what I want to hear out of my stream quality. The cutscenes are in 30 FPS. Nothing I can do about that, but it'll go back to 60 once the gameplay starts back up. This old stuff, Sarge. Watch your mouth, son. This stuff is your history. It should remind you, Grunts, what we're fighting to protect. Hey, Listening to boomer rock to music. This particular part of my history, that's fine by me. I like that in the future, yeah, people are sick of ACDC. You ask them real nice next time you see him, Vicente. I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. Because I know it's because it's supposed to sound like like boot like back in black. This is so funny. And this is so perfectly like marine parody. We're listening to boomer rock music. Unfortunately, Sergeant Johnson is making us. Stay close, Jenkins. Mendoza, move it up. I mean, this is a known covenant. For the captain and his squad, then get your asses. I mean, this is a known covenant Sir. FOB. Why would you guys be yelling? Okay, let's move. I mean, everything else is appropriate, but the yelling—you'd be a little quieter usually before going in. Which is weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the insides. What's that? Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident, you know, friendly fire or something? Well, like I said, everything else was pretty appropriate. What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? Now we just met. Right, well, let's get this door open. I'll try, hey. sir. But it looks like these Covenant work pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. So can you tell me what this experience was like for you as a kid, you know, as, a, as an 18-year-old playing this game for the first time? Like when you got to this part where they finally introduced the new enemy, you know, halfway through the game at this point. Got a bad feeling about this. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about Captain something. Captain Sarge, can you hear me? What's going on, soldier? He's got contact! Blast them! They're not coming in! They're just staring through us! What the fuck? No! Corporal, do you copy? Over! Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge, order. Sarge, listen. What is that? Where's that coming from, Everywhere. Mendoza? I don't... There! Mira! Ah, ah, hold get still! Hold get still! Get hold still. Let him have it! Ah! Sergeant, we're surrounded. God damn it, Jenkins! Fire your weapon! There are too many, Don't Sarge! Don't even think about it, Marine. Oh, is it local? Get back here, Marine! That's an order! Jenkins! Well, yeah, because the Covenant have, like, a very legit motivation, but then you got more of the Flood in Halo 2 and 3, and it became a bit more compelling and interesting. I don't know, a bit. The Grave Mind was still kind of lame-ish. Grave Mind felt a bit like an Ex Machina kind of character, but 
besides that. Yeah, it's very easy to liken it to Half-Life in that sense. Yeah, absolutely. I still think the Covenant is a really um, compelling and interesting concept of, you know, this this basically like real, like order of like coalition of religious fanatics of multiple alien races with unique specialties and abilities, all just coming together and they're like, we don't like humans. We don't want them to join our our, our great crusade, so they will all die now. Because that's overwhelming and terrifying, and the fact that they're religious zealots means they don't fear death. Yeah. Yeah, the Covenant, like, um, uh, thinking from, like, a, 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 the perspective of being an individual and, like, individualistically is a far more terrifying concept because of the fact that they're basically the most committed and most powerful army that we've ever seen. I forgot how much of Kite City this was. It gets a lot more entertaining once you get the shotgun and once you get the more unique flood enemies. It's good music though. Um, I believe this song is Demons Monsters, that's what it's called. Slap. What I do like, though, is that they can come from anywhere, so it, like, makes you really paranoid and constantly checking your radar. It still has a lot of intrigue, though, that it introduces this new threat, at the very least. Yeah, that's the thing, is they lack the variety and strategy that makes the Covenant a, le a legitimate threat, I realized, because I was just kiting them the fuck around and dealt with them pretty easily. If they introduced them um, in a much more threatening way, like, 
Yeah, you don't want to make the, the the major antagonizing threat easier than the um, the enemies who are afraid of them. Yeah, you want to introduce um, a level of enemy variety, or at the very least, enemy adaptability than threat that surpasses the Covenant, because obviously the Covenant are afraid of them. It's like that's just a natural thing that you'd come to expect. So I, I, I can get behind it. Totally, I totally follow what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I'm playing on Heroic, and that's how much damage that did. That's a bit wimpy. You're right, that's a, that's a, that's kind of weak. Luckily, the Flood, the Flood obviously become a lot more threatening in the later games, but yeah, for the game, for the game's, like, super antagonist, that's kind of, a, you're right, that is kind of a misfire for sure. Gentlemen, I'm just getting out of here. Oh, I was um, just leaving. Still, I mean, as far as the game, the game overall is concerned, it's still brilliant. But yeah, I do agree that I think at the time they're the, they just they just couldn't think of anything better. They couldn't think of a way to make these enemies more threatening than the Covenant. I think maybe if they had them less in quantity, like obviously you still have the little swarm enemies, but then on top of that you have um, you have these enemies be bullet sponges and they just like stick to you and run you down. That would make them feel a lot more threatening. And they, I feel like that's kind of what they're trying to do, but the fact that you can so easily kite them down is kind of, um, uh, again, it's, it's it makes them feel too weak and easy. Yeah, either be an actual flood or make enemies infected by the flood just turn into, like, super tanks. There's a couple ways to go about that, and it feels like for the, in Halo 1 they just went about it in the perfectly wrong way. Again, I feel like, if I remember correctly, that got fixed in later Halos. Alright, now I remember, I want to go upstairs. Yeah, again, I feel like, um, you know, if they really wanted to make them, like, legit, like, legit, um, you have them, like, you know, again, like you said, swarming and have the big ones be really, like, st like stick to you and be very bullet spongy. Not in an annoying way, though, just, like, make it feel like, oh, God, what does it take to fucking kill these things? Because that's kind of the feeling you want to get when you're fighting them. Because you, you want them to feel like they're ter a terrifying and unstoppable force. I'm not talking Resident Evil 6 bullet spongy, I'm just saying, like, it requires certain kinds of weapons to deal with them more adequately, like pepper them with tons of machine gun fire or shotgun blasts. Trying to remember how to get around here. I 
really like how much they spruced up the lighting in the 2011 version of the game, though. It's very nice. Door's locked. Is there an unlocking mechanism? That door up above is unlocked, but I don't know how to get to it. And then this door is broken now. Yeah, I'm really at a loss right now. Like, what the hell? Did I, did I soft lock or something? Yeah, I definitely think the, the lack of threat that comes from the flood is partially due to engine limitations. stupid. It was these stacked boxes this whole time. Well, these doors do open. You guys have fun with uh, with with these guys over here. I'm gonna just be on my way. I think the biggest threat that the flood poses is the element of surprise that they introduce from being around corners and stuff. So again, they. Again, what they, what, what the, the real threat of them comes in is having to constantly check your radar. 
just to make sure that doesn't happen. That was very inconvenient. Now I gotta find a different way out of here. That was pretty grim. He just got kind of dragged down in there. Oh, baby, here we go. This is the good stuff. Ah, here we go. They have guns now. Now they're threatening. Not even I'm brave enough to do Nightmare Doom Eternal right now. I will. I might do it at a later date after I'm done with the game, but right now I just want to stream it and enjoy it. I don't want to frustrate myself with a brand new game. Alright bro, I'm about to head out. Just me, John Halo, Chief Man, Halo, John Man. Hello, I am Pacifist. Please do not shoot.
Okay, so up here is the right way. That's where I came from, over that way. I love the shotgun in this game, and I always like to conserve ammo on it, because it's just such a lovely workhorse. It's, like, it's just a shame just to run it into the ground, you know? I don't wanna. That was annoying.
Alright, so I'm in this room. Now what? This is probably one of the weaker levels in the game when I think about it. It's just... Just corridors. Just hopping from corridor to corridor. Without really knowing what I'm doing or where I'm going. The game is very bad at giving you indicators as to the like. Am I supposed to go up? Is up the preferred direction, Captain. Yeah, it seems that way. Want to get up there somehow? I think that's really interesting, this little platform right here, because it implies there was some kind of brave last stand between both humans and Covenant. There we go. Me out of here. This is Echo 419. Chief, is that you? I lost your signal when you disappeared inside the structure. What's going on down there? I'm tracking movement all over the place. Sir, thank God you're here. We've been locked out here for hours. How can we lost contact with the rest of the mission? We, we headed for the RV point, and then these, these, these things, they ambushed us. We've got to get out of here. There's a large tower a few hundred meters from your current position. Find a way above the fog and foliage canopy and I can move in and pick you up. Alright, that's a pretty rough choke point. Gotta be careful there. I see one! Now's not the time to be sparing with the shotgun ammo. Who's with me? I got you covered. 
I tried. I really tried. They're all dead, though. How do I get into this tower? Let me in. Let me in. God. Yeah, this level is really long if you get lost, which of course I did. Greetings. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. Chief, I've lost your signal. Where'd you go? Chief! Chief! Ah, oh, but those are all sold out. Everybody's playing Half-Life Alex on those these days. You got an index in the back storage? Haha, <laughs> timely joke. Right, you got these things now.
Honestly, they started. They should have started the uh, the whole flood sequence with these fucking bloated pustule enemies, because that's a really good introduction to your horrific, disgusting, like zombie monster. Is to just like introduce this thing that just fucking explodes and releases spores of poisonous gas, and these you know little head crab things. Ouch. The energy field above the index. We must get up there. Fuck off. How was I supposed to predict that?
Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm looking at shit. What store do you work at? The club must not escape the installation. They can soon. You can see how the bottom's been transformed. Oh, Wendy's. Oh, man. Even Wendy's is shutting down. That's crazy. I was actually planning to get drive through tomorrow. Not at Wendy's, but just somewhere. Maybe Wendy's, don't know. Oh yeah, oh, Dinan is finally closed? Wow, I'm surprised it took them that long. I would have figured they would have closed that sooner, actually. Wow, I would have been... I'm, I'm shocked they left it open that long. I guess I'm really not, though, because they are a corporation. They, they would expose their employees to health risks just for people who still prefer dine-in. I don't know who would still prefer dine-in at a time like this, though. Pretty much everybody's just doing takeout or drive through right now. With good reason. Again, I'm not surprised they're a corporation. Their goal is to make money, and if people still prefer dine-ins, then that's what they're gonna do.
Nice. Okay. Mm, that's pretty inefficient. But I'm running out of battery on that thing, so... Um, this is about mission six out of ten. I've been doing school online, you know, I'm a college student doing school online. It's been uh, interesting, but the lectures are relatively shorter because the professor's like, if you got any questions, either send them by email or... These sentinels will supplement your combat systems, but I suggest you upgrade to at least a class 12 combat skill. Your current model only scans as a class 2, which is too suited for this kind of work. Um, oh, what was I thinking? Um, okay, yeah, so, oh man, my ice is melted in my bourbon already. Mm. Um, yeah. The lectures are relatively shorter because they're just like, just email us or we'll open discussions or blogs on the website, you know, if you want to talk to us there. So, basically all the discussion is saved for acts after the lecture, which means if I don't have any questions, I can just get straight to work, which is nice. Because I generally, I ask a lot of questions if I don't understand the material, and if I do, I just head straight to homework. And then if I have questions on the homework, then I'll ask. So I've got, you know, a, a workflow, and the online class format generally supplements my workflow better, but I will miss having discussions in very engaging classes. Obviously, you don't get that um, now that the engaging classes are kind of, um, you know, everything's fallen by the wayside now. Oh, this is going to be a fucking elevator fight. It's going to be an elevator fight. I just stand in the middle? Is there a doorway? Oh, I'm dumb.
Yeah, disaster, you were right though. These the flood don't hold up as interestingly. Um in Some of them are. I mean, they're using whatever live streaming format they can use, and if um, poorer high schools and colleges, I'm sure would use Discord since it's a since it's a free service. Um, we're using um, uh, Blackboard, which is what a lot of colleges use. Um, but yeah, I'm sure a lot of poorer, like, community colleges and, um, and, and the like are using, uh, Discord if that's what they can, all they can afford. Like I said, it's lecture, then questions afterwards. I'm just going to miss the engaging discussions, but um, generally speaking, this is more conducive to how I format. The online format is more conducive to how I format my general learning structure, which is lecture first, questions later. Um, but I do like having discussions in the middle of class, too, even though it's not the most um, productive or effective. It's just nice to have. Um, average class sizes range anywhere from, uh, I'd say my smallest class was about, I'm trying to think, smallest classroom was about 25 people and largest classroom was about 70 something, like nearing 100. So hovering around 50, I'd say. If you want like an average, like an average average. I just feel bad for the professors who have to completely restructure their class format and learn this brand new format that they've never used before and have to learn how to live stream or set up recordings using screen capture and all this tech savvy shit that they're not really too used to. I mean, some of them are more tech savvy than others, but it still fucking sucks for them. Also, yeah, as my courses get more specific in my senior year, I'll have less people, but um, generally my class sizes have been all over the place throughout my entire schooling experience because my um, because I'm such a niche learner. I'm not going into any major large-scale fields. I'm forest resource management, so sometimes I go into very um, broad-spectrum classes because it's general knowledge that a lot of people in business and finance need, which is part of what um, I just part of what uh, I'm involved in because of the business management, the management aspect of it, but then I get into really 
really like niche level stuff like um, environmental law, which is something that only I'll benefit from. Oh, I got through gen eds in community college. That was the whole point of community college was to get through gen eds before I went to um, went to my preferred college. I'm a transfer. After my first semester at community college, I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is the degree program to get me through it at this college. What are the prerequisites at this other college for how to do this? So I did all the prerequisites for my preferred college back in community college. I planned this out. I was very smart about how I decided to do college because I wanted to do just four years. I did not want to take any longer than I needed to. So I'm doing exactly four years of college, and so far I've been on track. I'm currently finishing up my junior year, my third year. Oh, okay. Random grenade. Thanks. The Sentinels can use their weapons to manage the flood only for a short time. Speed is of the essence. Oh, Jesus. This was a really scummy looking area in the original graphics. Fight some co covenant, god damn it.
Yeah, you're definitely right though. These guys feel a lot less interesting in this game than they do in um, Halo 2 and 3. I feel like this is a part that just kind of overstays its welcome just because the flood aren't very interesting once you get used to them. That's like the only like move they have up their sleeve is when they surround you like that and it's really more of a cheap trick than a legit strategy. Make them a lot more tedious too because with the elites that do they're interesting because they have they dodge and they roll and they have very interesting behavior and they have energy shields which behave in and i think that's one of the most impressive things about halo as a as a as a, as a genre is the enemies like elites have energy shields which behave fundamentally and functionally different from flesh so you have to plan your weapon uh, loadouts out to accommodate for both Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing too is... Well, that's the thing too is for a game like, um... For a game like Halo, um... Your, you know, your enemies are moving very uh, strategically and tactically. And with the the AI in the um, 2011 version of the game, the one I'm playing now, um, you know, obviously it's not the best, but they move in a way and in a form that is genuinely um, designed to get past things like grenades and get around your guard, and that uh, really makes them a lot more interesting to fight. And again, they have the energy shields and health which means you have to be a lot more strategic about how you use your weapons because of the fact that you have to accommodate for both uh, shields and uh, shield and flesh based damage I'm sure, I, I can't remember correctly, but I'm pretty sure in later Halos they kind of solve this issue a little bit more. The other thing too is I want to just keep running, but I know that if I do I'm just going to get swamped and die.
If I remember, yeah, I definitely remember this being the absolute weakest chapter of the game, the library. I remember not liking this segment as a kid, and I can see that a child me was absolutely fucking right to not like this segment. Because your progress is being slowed like- Okay, we're gonna try to just sprint it. Yeah, so if you just sprint it, you're, you're, you're fine. Which is good, because I plan to do a longer stream, because I'm not going to do two fucking hours of Flood. I can guarantee that I'm not doing two fucking hours of a stream of just Flood gameplay. Use a shotgun and running gun. That's what we're doing. Oh, okay, I gotta go down. I really have nothing to say. Like, I wish I could give some interesting commentary, but I've got nothing to say because there's nothing interesting happening. Okay, this is fucked right up. God damn it, you floating little shit. Open this door.
Let's leave these bloated guys to their own devices. There's no reason to pop them open. That just makes more work for me. So, Disaster, you said you started playing um, Resident Evil 2. Sorry to remake. You like how the game opens with you um, trying to help uh, help a cop from the RPD, only for him to just get fucking ripped in half. was specifically built to study and contain the flood. Their survival as a race was dependent upon it. I am grateful to see that some of them survived to reproduce. I will deactivate the security lock. Wait here. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, I know, bro. My patience is fucking short. Bruh. Oh, you are? Hang on.
Hmm. Hmm. You still getting crazy buffering? Uh, give me one sec. <laughs> 